The company filing for bankruptcy on Sunday, but it doesn't mean that stores like the one you see behind me are going to necessarily be shutting down. And they filed for bankruptcy for two reasons. The first one, they're buried under billions in dollars of debt. The second reason, they are facing thousands of lawsuits that claim that they illegally filed, they illegally prescribed prescription drugs fueling that opioid epidemic the country is now facing. All right, let's go to a little bit more detail about what happened in the lead up to this bankruptcy. Drug stores like Rite Aid have been hurting as shoppers increasingly turn to retailers like Amazon and Walmart for cheaper prices. And as the demand for COVID vaccines and COVID testing goes down, their pharmacies are also seeing a slowdown in revenue. But in 2022, Rite Aid settled for $30 million to resolve lawsuits alleging its pharmacies contributed to an oversupply of prescription opioids that contributed to the nation's opioid epidemic. That million dollar set lawsuit settlement really hurt them in their pockets. And then a few months ago, the Department of Justice filed a lawsuit against Rite Aid claiming they violated the Controlled Substances Act by filing thousands of unlawful prescriptions for controlled substances like fentanyl and oxycodone. All right, so what happens now? Rite Aid was able to raise about $4 billion over the weekends from lenders to be able to keep running and operate their stores, but that doesn't mean they won't likely be closing some of those stores. Take a look at that statement released from Rite Aid yesterday. They say, quote, the company will be continue assessing its footprint and close additional underperforming stores. These efforts will further reduce the company's rent expense and are expected to strengthen its overall financial performance. Now, Wall Street Journal reporting it has closed more than 200 stores in the past two years. But the Philadelphia-based company says over the weekend, in addition to file, filing for bankruptcy, they also appointed a new CEO yesterday who is going to help them in their new restructuring plan that will hopefully, hopefully bring back the company so that they can survive these many, many setbacks that they've been seeing and these obstacles that they've had. But if many of you are waking up this morning and say, I have a prescription to pick up here at the pharmacy, or Lauren, as you mentioned, I have to go get my ice cream. These these stores will still be open come this morning. Reporting live, I'll send it back to you in the studio.